out of hell. It looks, it has to look like, just like this. Uh-huh. Beautiful, Ethan. Thank you. Look, Aaron did one. Good job, Aaron. Hmm. Very nice. I can't see it. Here we go. Do you like to help the family? I love cleaning. I'm hanging up. Look at this little angel. Her laugh. You're a good girl. Yes, you are a good girl. You're a good girl. Okay, guys, show me what you're doing. I painted this one. I painted that one. Uh huh. That one. Uh huh. That one. So we're doing watercolor. So, yeah. So, uh, so right here should be the ocean. Here is the sky. This is a palm tree. And this would just be a little sandy beach. Uh huh. Which is the one you did? This one here? Show yeah. me on yours. Yeah. So, this is my tree. This is the northern tree. <laughs> tree. Waterfall. Okay. okay. So, and this is part of the world. Okay. Very pretty, Zoe. So, let me tell you something about my... I was going to draw an ocean, but I actually drew a lake. Now, who's the best painter you know? Bob Ross. Bob Ross. And what would Bob Ross say about your painting? Looks really good. <laughs> Okay, guys. <laughs> hip, hip. Hooray! Hooray! Jackie, yep. today's your day of recollection. <laughs> and we have to give this to the sisters. All right, perfect. We'll do that. <laughs> hey, I'm really proud of you, Jackie. Thank you. You're spending the whole day then with the Franciscan sisters, right? Yeah. Okay. And then the first confession is today. Is that right, Ethan? Yes. <coughs> and then tomorrow is your first Holy Communion. Dad, can I go get dressed? Uh, yes, you can go get there's, dressed. There's um, some nice clothes that, I, that has all butterflies on it that is pretty that Audrey gave to me. Oh, really? Huh? That sounds like a great outfit. I think we're ready to go. We have to bring you to the sisters. Okay. Ethan, you want to give your brother a hug? I remember when you were going. Make sure you always obey the sisters and do whatever they say. Okay, I will. Your missile is in the zipper pocket. Okay, you're gonna need that. Okay. Bye, Bye, guys. Say a prayer for me. Let's do our morning prayers. Alright. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers. 
Sacred Heart, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass, in reparation for my sins, for the poor souls in purgatory, and for our special intention. Today, our special intention is for Jack on his first confession and his first Holy Communion. To, get, to be a good, to be a good one. You're ready for everything, Jack? Yes. You've studied really hard. I have. When you receive communion, what are you actually receiving? Jesus. You are receiving Jesus. And you're receiving his body, blood, soul, soul, and divinity. And divinity. Who is God? God is creator of heaven and earth and all things. Who made the world? God made the world. Did God have a beginning? No, God had no beginning. He always was and he always was. Why did God make you? God made me to show His goodness and to make me happy with Him in heaven. And to know Him, love Him, and serve Him with all my heart. Good job, Jack. You've never really been taught by the sisters, have you? No. Are you looking forward to that? Get a marinky dinky dink, get a marinky do. I love you. Get a marinky dinky dink, get a marinky do. Daddy, you sound just like it because you taught the kids that. <laughs> I love Where did you. Learn you. That? Where did you learn that? I learned that from Sharon, Lois, and Bram's Elephant Show. There was a TV show for kids, and that was one of the theme songs they would play all the time. I love you, we'll see you next time. I love you, too. Boo, boo, be do. For your first confession, you're gonna need to do your act of contrition. Do you, do you remember what that prayer is? Yes. Go ahead. Oh my God. I'm heartily sorry for having you me, and I detest all my sins because I dread a lot of hurt and pain to hell, but most of all because I offend thee, my God, for God good and sorry for all my love. I firmly resolve have a thy grace confess depends to mend my life. Amen. There's one of the sisters. Okay, here you go, Jack. You want to carry that? All right, let's go. Hold on, let me lock the car. Hi there. Good morning. Ready to do this, Jack? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's ring the doorbell. Who's that? Let's go. Do you know if the sisters are downstairs? Okay, downstairs. Okay, let's go. Okay. Is this for the basket? Yes. Okay, yeah. Put everything else put in the, um, the vest for the Okay, let's go.
Jackie? Yes? This is a special day for you. And I want you to remember that Jesus is listening to you. And you can ask him anything you want today. All right? Any special intention you have. We are really proud of you. Thank you. You've prepared a long time. And who are you receiving today? Jesus. All right, Jack, go on up. You don't want to go up? You want me to hold your hand? Oh, okay. Yeah. I think because of all this. All right, come on, Jack. You're gonna be all right. Come on. Happy First Communion, guys. We're really proud of you. Happy First Communion Day. You all look lovely. was so beautiful. Give a kiss. Aaron, what are you doing? You don't wear that.
My dear children, you will receive today our Lord for the first time. The simplicity of soul, the fervor which were present when we first approached the communion rail. And these children who are going to receive our Lord for the first time understand this. They prepared themselves. They know that they're going to receive Jesus, God. They receive God into their soul. If they're going to receive God into their soul, then they have to be worthy. Their soul has to be swept clean. And it's a wonderful process in which these souls, these young souls, are brought to a point of preparation. And a great prayer to our Lord that he make them a saint. Ask our Lord that you become a saint. And my dear faithful, those of us who have grown into adulthood, remember that our love of God must be simple. We have to return to that simplicity of our first communion. Remember that it is in the moment of fervor, in the moment of receiving the sacraments, where God gives to us a special clarity to seek the greater love of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jack, I am so proud of you. Good job, baby. Happy First Communion Day. Were you nervous? No. You did great. Thank you. Is this your scapular? I'm going to wear it when I die. <laughs> I love you. Oh, you're such a good kid. I'm proud of you. You're proud of me too? <laughs> <laughs> what was it like to receive your first communion? I was kind of a little teeny tiny bit.
We're so proud of you. Happy First Communion, guys. It's not my First Communion. <laughs> we are really proud of you, too. Thank you. Let me look at the cake. It's the altar. This is beautiful. Is this the altar? This is... I think this is... So there's the altar card. Yep. That's... Gorgeous. This is a very special day when you receive Jesus into your heart and soul. May you never forget what a privilege this is and always receive him with great love and devotion. God bless you, the Pattersons. What do you say? sheep know me, as I know my fa the Father, and give my life for the sheep, John. That was John 10, 14, chapter 10, verse 14. And may you also see him, a good shepherd, who will lay, who will lead, lead, guide, and depict, direct, direct you, Throughout your life, so proud of you. Good job. You're reading better and better. Does this look safe? <laughs> no, it does not. But he's doing a great job. <laughs> he's so happy. <laughs> 